there are a lot of different regulations currently hitting the financial industry. They are complex and have the potential to have a huge impact upon your business. Regulation is like waves hitting the industry. As you can see from the slide, at the moment the ship, which is where we are, is at the crest of the first wave. The regulations that you can see in that first wave, such as AFMD, EMEA and FATCA, you've heard about for a while and as we all know, a lot of the key implementation dates are in the past. However, there are certain items such as the reporting or the non-EU managers implementation date for AFMD and some of the reporting elements uh, and the central clearing for EMEA are still to come in the future. And looking out on the horizon from the second wave, shadow banking and USITS 5 are just around the corner. The pace of regulatory reform has slowed down since the EU elections in May. However, now that the new commission under Jean-Claude Juncker is in situ, we're expecting that pace to increase again. There's a number of interesting regulations that are likely to hit in the next few years. There is MIFID, which could impact the products that you trade and who you trade with. There's the EU financial transaction tax that again could impact who you trade with and where you trade. And there is also PRIPS, which is the package retail investment and insurance products shortened to PRIPS, um, which could impact your investor disclosure obligations. Northern Trust's approach to regulatory reform is we decided after the first wave of regulation hit to take a step back and see how we could best help you, our clients, going forward. We created a team called Regulatory Services, which I head up in EMEA, and the simplest way to describe the team's remit is that we represent the client within regulatory change at Northern Trust. The team is there to provide you with a centralised point of contact and to tailor the interaction that we can have with you as to how we can best support you. We appreciate that different segments of clients are impacted differently by regulation. We've done some analysis for asset managers, for alternative investment funds, for pension funds and insurance funds, looking at how regulation impacts each of those segments differently. We're also now working on similar analysis for sovereign wealth funds and for charities going forward. Examples of the products we're working on are a set of account structures under a mere central clearing requirements that will enable you to keep your collateral within Northern Trust's network for as long as possible. We're holistically reviewing our kit offering on the back of USITS 5 and PRIPS and we're looking at the data requirements that you'll need on the back of all regulatory reporting, but particularly keeping in mind the shadow banking regulations and the securities financing regulations. Looking to the future for institutional investors, you're going to be spending more time dealing with regulation. Our advice is don't leave compliance to the last minute. Act early and partnering with us to make sure that you take advantage of the opportunities that we feel are there and ensure that compliance does not become a burden. We're here to talk to you about regulation and help you throughout the life cycle of your regulatory journey.